freaking the fuck out. Oh shit. This is like a red. <sighs> Please let this work out. <sighs> Whoa. Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If I look a little bit weird today, that's because I don't have eyebrows on. I also don't have anything on my lips today. And the reason why I don't have my brows on or anything on my lips is because I'm gonna be testing out some interesting products today. I've got some peel off lip stains and I've got a peel off eyebrow tattoo. So these products are said to leave a stain on your eyebrows and your lips so that you don't have to apply any makeup. It's supposed to be long lasting, long wearing. So that's what I'm gonna be testing out today. I picked up these products off of Amazon. I have never tried them before, so I'm very curious to know how well they perform. I don't hear a lot of YouTubers talking about peel off makeup, so I was very intrigued. Maybe there's a reason why nobody talks about it. I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video and I'm gonna start off with the brows. So this eyebrow product is by the brand Etude House. It's a Korean brand. I've heard a lot of things about Etude House. Mixed reviews, to be honest, from a lot of different beauty gurus. Some products are good, some products are bad, so... I guess we'll find out. The color that I got this in is a number one brown. It comes in this very simple brown packaging. It comes out in a tube like this and it has one of those plastic wrappers that you guys know I love so much. So this is what the tube looks like. It just looks like a regular eyebrow gel. And then when you open it up, it comes out on this little brush here that looks like it has way, way, way too much product on it. So what I'm gonna do is take off some of the product on the brush. All right, so I just zoomed you guys in. Before I go in with the actual product, I wanna make sure that I remove any kind of makeup that I have that I have in my, in my eyebrow hairs. I just want to give this product the best chance possible. So I just put a little bit of oil-free makeup remover on this cotton tip, and I'm just going to remove any makeup that might have got stuck in my eyebrows. The instructions say after trimming the eyebrows without applying skincare product or makeup, apply a liberal amount according to the desired shape of the eyebrow. Apply a liberal amount to remove the pack easily. Dry for at least two hours. Oh my God. For stronger coloration, apply before going to bed at night and remove the next morning. Probably should have read the instructions before filming this video. I had no idea you have to leave this on for two hours. After drying completely, remove slowly, starting from the head of the eyebrow. Do not remove the pack forcibly since it may pull out the eyebrow. Great. <laughs> Do not use a cleansing product, product with detergency. I think they need detergent. Or apply force on the eyebrow area within 24 hours of using the product. If you make a mistake in drying, correct or wipe clean with cotton swab or clean tissue before it completely dries out. So I removed some of the excess product on the brush and I'm going to start at the base of my brow. I'm actually really scared, you guys. And I'm gonna to try to outline the shape of my brow as much. Oh my God, this is dark. I'm gonna to try to outline it as best as I possibly can, but this does not look very good. I am already regretting my decision, you guys. Mm. Not sure if this stuff is supposed to stay on my eyebrow hairs or actually stain my skin because I don't think it's really getting down to my skin. Oh my god. Why do you do this to yourself, Nikki? Why? This does not look like brown. I'm sorry. This looks like black. It's so hard to get a straight line with this brush. I'm gonna have like the most crooked eyebrows of life. Another thing that is concerning me is that this product is very thick. It kind of feels like a wax. I feel like when I'm gonna rip this off my eyebrows, all my eyebrow hairs are just gonna come along with it. This was such a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna apply it to the other eyebrow because as bad as this is, I have to even them out. I'm also trying to follow the instructions by applying a generous amount so that this crap is easier to take off. I was so happy with my eyebrows recently. Okay, eyebrows are on. I'm freaking the fuck out because this is not brown. This is black. This is as black as it gets. 
and it feels so thick in my eyebrows. I'm terrified that it's gonna rip all of my eyebrow hairs out. <sighs> So it is three o'clock right now. I'm going to wait until it is five o'clock to remove these caterpillars off of my face. In the meantime, I'm going to go in with one of these lip tattoos and I'm gonna go in with something a little bit less cray gray. I'm gonna go in with this lovely peach color because the other ones just seem too crazy for me. Um, there's no instructions on these. So I'm going to assume that you just apply this to your lips and peel it off when it's 100% dry. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is the packaging for those of you who are interested. It just comes in a regular looking lip gloss tube. And when you take off the cap, as you can see, it looks just like a lip gloss tube. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lips. I have nothing on my lips, no lip balm, no nothing. I removed any excess makeup with a makeup remover wipe and I'm gonna go in with this guy now. Oh God, this color is really bad. You know what, scratch that. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with a more pinky color because this one is looking like a hot mess already. I'm actually gonna go in with this watermelon color. This looks a little safer. Oh shit, this is like a red. <sighs> Please let this work out. crap guys you have to see this up close that actually turned out so nice and it's not red at all and you know what my lips feel so soft i was not expecting that my lip stain didn't dry completely in the center so i have a little little bit of remnants left from the stain but i think i got all of it off it's looking really good you guys i'm actually really impressed it's a very natural look my lips feel soft they look supple and they have a really nice color to them it's very even I'm shook. Okay, so it is currently 3.30. So I've had these little caterpillars on my face for about half an hour now. I don't think I'm gonna do the full two hours, to be honest, because I'm kind of scared that it's gonna leave too much pigment on my eyebrows and I really, really don't want to be left with super bold brows. So I'm gonna leave on the eyebrow tint on my eyebrows for another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and peel them off. Okay guys, so I thought my camera was recording, but clearly it wasn't. Obviously, I already started to remove one of the caterpillars from my face. It is currently 4.14, so it's been a little bit over an hour since I've had these on my eyebrows and I started peeling it off. I have just the edge left. Oh, and this is definitely not painless. Whew. Oh my God, guys. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but it yanked out quite a bit of my eyebrow hairs and that is freaking me out right now. It did leave a stain on my eyebrows, but girl, my eyebrow hairs. It's not that bad. This is definitely not how I would typically fill in my eyebrows. Oh my God. 
and I'm freaking out at how many eyebrow hairs came out. I'm like, this is not normal. Can you guys see that? Thank God I have a lot of eyebrow hairs because otherwise this would be a tragedy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rip off the other one. Oh my God. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why did I do this? This is so dumb. Oh my God. This one is not coming off as easily. Oh. <laughs> okay guys, so this is what my eyebrows look like after I've removed these horrible, horrible, I don't know what this is, but don't do it. I can confidently say without a shadow of a doubt that I will never, ever, ever, ever use this product again. Please do not torture yourself. Please do not waste your money on this because it was extremely painful to remove and I have a very high pain threshold and it ripped out like half of my eyebrow hairs. So I'm quickly gonna go off camera and fix my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and filled in my brows like I usually do with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencils and I use my Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom to brush them up and out. And I have to say it has been a long time since I considered myself to be having a bad eyebrow day. I think my eyebrows are way too dark for my face right now. I'm not really loving this whole eyebrow tattoo thing. And thank God I didn't leave it on my eyebrows for longer than I did because otherwise it would be even darker than this. I do have to say when I did come up close to my mirror and got to see the actual tint that this product left on my skin, it did look natural, I guess. The problem is the applicator makes it super, super hard to apply this product very evenly. So you're gonna get jagged edges and you're gonna have to go in and touch it up with an eyebrow pencil or pomade or whatever it is you use on your eyebrows. And I would not recommend using this product if you have fuller brows like I do. If you have more sparse brows, then this product might work for you because it will add a tint to your brows and it's not gonna rip out like half of your eyebrow hairs. So for me personally, this product was an epic fail and I would definitely not use it again. This lip tattoo, on the other hand, is something that I would probably use once in a while. It did leave a really pretty stain on my lips. It did start to dry out a little bit after about 15 to 20 minutes after wearing it. All I did was applied a clear lip balm over top and my lips are soft, supple, and hydrated and they still have that really nice rosy tint. Now this pack comes with five other colors. To be honest, I'm not not quite sure if I'm going to be using the other colors because they look a little bit cray cray. It's still something that I have to play around with, but this one was really, really nice. So if you guys are interested in trying out this peel off tattoo makeup, I'm going to link them down in my description box below. Like I said, I got everything off of Amazon, so it was super affordable. Let me know what you guys think about my eyebrows and my lips. Do you think they turn out good and is this something that you would be interested in trying. So that's all I have for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one.